I'm JQ. I'm TQ. I'm Justin Hain. <laughs> yeah, we're the Q Brothers, yeah. and we have Justin as our guest today, uh, founder and creator of August Grooming, right? That's correct, yes. So, August, uh, Justin came and visited us uh, a few months ago, a little bit more than that, uh, and showed me these beautiful, beautiful combs. Um, and we're going to talk about them today, but I think, I mean, we pretty much said we're going to do business the first day that we met, right? Yeah, we did. And we kind of, yeah. and uh, it's been a fun adventure ever since as I watch you launch a new brand, a new luxury brand. Um, and, and how did it start? Like, I mean, you know, n not just uh, how these combs were made, but why, why combs? Like, what, what did you see that? Aside you know, from the fact that I mean, you have a nice hair, swear to do, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, an awesome yeah. comb. But like, you know, there are some nice combs out there. What, 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 what weren't you finding in a comb that you thought, oh, this is cool, or well, how did the opportunity come up that you said I can make an awesome comb? Right. Well, it's it's a good question. That's kind of actually how it started. Is I have been buying combs um, for for a few years, and actually been buying them from from Mers. But I would buy the Kents and uh, Mason Pearsons, mm -hmm. and they're and they're good combs. There's there's no doubt about that. But I was finding that I you know I use a comb every day, like a lot of guys, and um, you know I wanted something that had some life. You know most of the combs that that have been made for decades are generally like a tortoise shell or a black, uh, and they have their place in this world. But but for me, um, I thought that uh, you know there was an opportunity, even for my own personal satisfaction, to. Bring these things to life with color. Give them a little personality. Yeah, yeah exactly. Give cool. them something where every day when I used it, you know, I'd look at it and it would, uh, you know, it have some mm -hmm. inspiration to it, you know, or, or just uh, some style more than yeah. what what you would see in the past. Yeah. So, so from there, how, so how? Yeah, they're made in Italy, right? They are. Yeah. Um, and and that all kind of came about. I mean, when when I originally came up with the idea, you know, of course, I didn't. Uh, know for sure where I wanted to have them made, but as I kept thinking about you know the material that we were going to use and, and kind of the style that we ultimately wanted, um, the the Italian connection, if you will, kind of uh, became obvious. You know the Italians have a way of, of kind of putting their fingerprint on stuff where you you know right away um, when when they've been handling it, and I think that that's that's true of our product. You know and that's that's the reason that we went with it. I mean. Um, their craftsmanship and the way that they do things, uh, you know, to me, it's been spot on. Yeah, so. that's really cool. So just, you know, we'll show some pictures, but just to describe it. So um, you have a few different collections and different colors, and maybe this is the one that might not show as best on camera, although it's personally maybe my favorite. It's the one that I have, yeah. and I think it's gorgeous. It's got this kind of beautiful plum color. And there's some variation on th through them. So Jay, hold this one up for a second, yeah. and you can see. So talk to us about materials and how well, you how sort of settled made? on this. Right. Well, that's the you know what you see. Uh, it actually took a lot of time to kind of experiment and determine what what I ultimately and and, and uh, the Italians what we thought was going to come out the best. So what they do with this, if you look at this this comb. Um, you know, it starts off with a, an Italian material, it's a select grade acetate, uh, and, and it looks pretty much like a plum color mm -hmm. in, its, in its natural form. But then when, when we go ahead and carve this out, you have these different colors that start to, to come out. Yeah. So, and then, you know, just the harmony between the, the plum and, the, and what I'll call like a charcoalish, you know, gray color that, that turns out after you cut into it, you know, you, I don't think you could actually think of that, you know, no. uh, to plan that out. It's just something that kind oh, of so naturally happens. as it happens. cut, that happens. That's correct, right. Oh, so, cool. so as we cut into the, into the material, then all of a sudden this other kind of color uh, that's in the recipe of this material. So it's in the recipe, it's baked in, sort of in the block, and then you're sort of carving it. So this is one piece of material. It's not like molded. I mean, you, we've talked about this, but I just want to right. make it clear that this is carved out of a... A solid piece. Correct? That's correct. So we use an old Italian process um, where these are actually done by hand. So you know, of course, it's it's uh, uh, you know hand machine sort of operation. Is it water jet? Or is it what, what? What do they use? What is the machine? It's a it's a pantograph machine, which is kind of an old uh, you know Italian process that you don't see used a lot. Um, but you you know it's 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 interesting because going through you know the launch of this. Um, to find somebody who really is savvy with, with cutting the teeth into, into carving this out into the shape that it's in. 
uh, it's not as easy as it, as it might look. The, having used them, can I just say, speaking of that, because this is a functional object, right. that, you know, we saw a lot of combs, and I can say a lot of good things about a lot of brands. I love the teeth on this comb. I find if you want to make a part, it is one of the best combs I've ever used for making. And you, I mean, did, was that by design? Did you like, you know what I mean? Because I, I feel like a lot of times, a lot of times the combs, even when they're fine, the tooth is very rounded. Whereas this, I feel like when I'm making a part, I can grab, I can see one hair out of place and run it by there and it just picks it up because mm -hmm. it's such a fine point at the end. Right. Without being scratchy, but it's perfect in its, in its ability to sort of pick up one hair and part it the other way or something like that. I love it about it. Also the, the, the rim here, right. most of them, you know, are rounded here, easy to slip out of your hand and stuff. This gives you a much better grip here. You know? This is a nice spine. Yeah. yeah well, you're, you're you're bringing up two out of the three things that were were at the essence of, of this uh, of, of this comb, and it's the the shape, um, the color, and the teeth. So what Anthony's talking about in terms of, of how the teeth work, that that took you know uh, prototype after prototype before yeah. I was satisfied with it because. You know, one of the things I mentioned that I've been using a comb for a long time, the rounded teeth, for me personally, um, it doesn't give me the bite that, mm -hmm. I, that I prefer. Yeah, you know, that's so exactly. The bite is the right word. It is. It's and like it's, digging, you're like, ah! But it's a nice dig, you know, it's yeah. not a therapeutic thing. It's not necessarily where uh, it's, it's, you know, uh, uh, needles going into yeah. that. It's, it's, but it is giving you that, that, you know, that sensation that is pulling through. Um, and it feels nice. It feels nice to use. No, it does. And if any of you are listening and you hear, there's construction going on outside. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you're hearing noise in the background. It's not the comb. <laughs> um, no, I, I agree. So cool. So you launched it. How long ago did you, like, this is when, what, were we one of the first customers, I believe, right? You, you definitely are. And, uh, and I'm proud to say that you guys have a beautiful story here. Um, but but uh, we launched launched, I'm sorry, within the last six months, um, and it's been doing very well. People that, uh, you know, are, are the customers that we have and the people that see it, um, it becomes different when you actually use it and feel it and touch it, uh, and, um, and yeah, I think it's... I, I agree. Yeah. And we'd be remiss if we didn't talk for a second about the beautiful That's leather the, sheet the that comes with it, because mm -hmm. it's, first of all, to have a case and then a lot of cases on, are, first of all, sold separately with other combs. Yours comes with it. And then yours has such an easy way to get in and out of the case, which I love, yet it's still snug enough that I can, I can walk around with it. I put one in my, my carry mine in my bag, and it's never fallen out. Yet I love the fact that it's like, with that nice spine, it's really easy to take in and out. I, and then the pleasure of the teeth is mimicked in the pleasure of touching this case with, with its suede carved design. Right. It, so with your fingers. Way to check. Yeah. Yes. Wait, is there a name for this pattern? Well, it's a, uh, well, the Italians call it a wavy suede. Wavy uh, suede. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so pretty That's simple. That's the name right? of my new album, too. It, it, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my next can will be Wade, and he's going to be Swavy Wade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, no. Well, I, lo I love the case, too, and I think, I think that, um, you know, the calm uh, by itself is, is, is great, but to complement it with the case, you know, to me, it's like icing on the cake. So yeah, it gives it a look and it gives it's an gift. You know, right. I can feel mm -hmm. like it, you know. I, I mean, you buy, buy it for yourself for sure, but I just feel like th th that's what puts it in to me in a category of like, if I know someone who's a guy who's going through something <laughs> special, yeah, it's like this yeah. is a how can you not know? You know yeah. what I mean? Like that puts yeah. it up into that level. Yeah. Well, I agree, and I, I you know, it's interesting since we started this. Um, not necessarily to, to my expectation, but we have repeat customers. Uh, a lot of the guys who, who have bought, uh, <laughs> cool. you know, they come back and they buy it for their dad, or they use it for yeah. a few weeks, and, mm -hmm. and you know we hear back from them. So I think that's a, you know, it speaks to the. Or to they want a smaller one for the pocket and a bigger one at home. That happens yeah. as well. And you know what I found mm -hmm. is that I just this happened uh, two days ago. This woman came in. She's like, "What are those?" And I pulled it out and like. Before I could even get half the pitch out of my mouth, she was like, I want that one. She picked. It, was, it was actually in the ink. She was like, that's the one I need it right now. I was like, all right, I got it. She's like, my husband needs that comb. And I was like, love first of all, like, sight. yeah, like, love it for a slight. She has good taste, but also it speaks to the sort of design aesthetic that you have that, you yeah, know, someone with a sharp eye came that. from yeah. across the room and was like, what is that? I pulled it out. I started talking about it. She was like, I want it. And then, you know, like, 
that was it. She didn't even question anything. It was just like, that is a beautiful gift, and it is. Well, and, and just, you know, that's what, what I made this for, is for somebody who has that eye, you know? Yeah. And, and it's, it's not for everybody, but, but there uh, is certainly a, a taste-driven, um, you know, thing going on here, and, and there's going to be people that are, are attracted to it right away. Where did the name come from? Uh, it's actually the name of my son. Oh, nice! Yeah, right. Nice! Yeah. So it's in, it's in tribute to uh, to my two and a half year old. Oh, that's nice. Great. That makes it even more special. It that's does. Great. It does. Yeah. That's great. All right, Justin, thank you uh, for, uh, first of all, for joining us. Second of all, for making these great combs that I get to enjoy every day, and you can too. I so, don't. <laughs> I know. You <laughs> <laughs> But I will at some point when, it, when, it, when the hair goes back out. Yeah, well, thank Let's you. see your salt and pepper, man. Oh, huh? it's getting so great. The problem is, I'm no, The problem is, I'm definitely gonna need a comb because the the gray is straight and the black is curly. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm trying to picture that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the side, I look like Pauly from The Sopranos, basically. Uh, <laughs> but with curly hair on top. <laughs> so thank hey, you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Nice yeah, to it's meet great you. Great to well. meet you. Yeah, thank you. Check Guys, it out. Check August. it out. Bye, bye. Love.